Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. It's a quandary that's perplexing me. We have to strike now, sir. Annihilate. Kill. 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Columbine. Virginia Tech. Tucson. Uh, are we creating a new world order? Does anybody want to talk about the new world order? Is there a new world order out there, or is this uh, a vision that's, that exists in the... He had, does have his vision, there's no doubt about that. But does that exist in the president's mind, or does it exist out there in reality? This president sees this episode as the first test case, as the first example for the new world order he is trying to organize. Some people have called it the new world disorder. And there's a lot of truth to that. That the United Nations already has the world split up into ten geographic locations in preparation for this new world order. Novus Ordo Seclorum is coming. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. We needed a new world order and instead it looks like we got a lot of disorder. I think the new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. We have many enemies. Mankind cannot comprehend the new world order. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order because the global order is changing again. And together they helped to create, were the principal leaders in creating, a new world order and a winning strategy in the Cold War. Dead in his world, dead with him, and a new world beginning. We are part of a new world order. And as the recently departed Admiral William J. Crow once said, it's long on new and it's short on order. If we are living in a new world order, remember that demons are merely a manifestation of the future of our race. We are all inherently divine, the co-creators of the new world order. In this fashion, we shall create gods in our own image. We are the creators, and we are the created. Walter Isaacson wrote a wonderful book about some of the wise men who helped shape the new world order following the Second World War. And a new life for mankind. As we devise a way forward in Iraq, I urge the international community to embrace its responsibility for creating that new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. The transatlantic partnership was never just the foundation of our security. It was the foundation of our way of life. It was forged an experience of the most bitter and anguished kind. Out of it came a new Europe, a new world order, a new consensus as to how life should and could be lived. And just like that, it was gone. It was the, it was a new world order. That's what President George H. Bush said. Harvard historian Francis Fukuyama pronounced the end of history. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause 
to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of a new world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light. The President has spoken often of a new world order. And we have an unprecedented opportunity to build a new era of peace and prosperity here and abroad, to build a new world order. We are building a new world order. Our job is only beginning. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666.